Hello, welcome to another breakfast journal video. If you're not yet caught up on the series, I'm going to list that in the description box below. You can see all the things that I did in the previous weeks to decorate slash wreck the book. Also, if you haven't seen my DIY water candle video, I will also link that below. You know, you'd never miss anything if you were subscribed. You can click the red button to be notified every single time I post and click that bell icon too, pretty please. I sound very announcer-like right now. I'm not sure why. In this video, I'm gonna try and get through a few more pages than I normally do, just so you guys have more to watch. I normally only get through like three or four pages because I take so much time, so I'm just gonna be a little bit more carefree today so we can get through more. How many times did I say more? I'm so sorry. If my annoyingness is not too much to handle and you guys like me anyway, give this video a thumbs up so we can reach 10,000 plus. That's the goal, so we spread the video to the YouTube world. And now without further ado, let's get on into the dang <laughs> first things first let's get the name page out of the way finally i don't know why i didn't do this sooner i mean there's really no specific order you have to do a wreck this journal so i just waited until now this is pretty self-explanatory i wrote my name with rainbow colored markers not really rainbow but every time that something is colorful i always say rainbow if it has practically every color of the rainbow and you saw i wrote with white gel pen a black micron i wrote my name really tiny and i used my phone camera to take a picture of my name and flip it so it would be easier to write backward life hack also it's still been super gloomy in ohio so i'm a little bit bitter I live near Cleveland for any of you guys who were wondering. P.S. Don't call me. I won't answer. That sounded really mean. I'm sorry. <laughs> but for real. Moving on to the next page. I'm going to lick my finger and smear the lines after I draw. This is kind of gross. I mean, whatever. So I'm taking a ballpoint pen that is wrapped with duct tape. I did this for one of my past DIY videos. I forget which one, actually. That's what happens when you have so many videos. I just outlined the prompt and put little tiny lines coming all out from there. It kind of looks like bug legs, gross. And I outlined that again to get a border. Now I actually licked my finger here and I am smudging the lines that I just drew. Wow, much voiceover. Such informative. Now I'm moving on to a pretty design it's a mandala and i am starting of course with a little circle in the middle and radiating it out by putting petals and kind of leafy shapes and then outlining those and you just keep working your way out if you've never created one of these it's so easy and it's also fairly relaxing Lots of circles, lots of lines, and you can vary the thickness of the line as well to make it have a little bit more dimension and just more character, I guess. Once I get to this point, I then grabbed colorful chalk pastels in light pink, this really pretty fuchsia and periwinkle. That's, I guess, what this is. Then I smudged those all over and I made a mistake at this point because I should have waited until I was completely done with all the pen lines before doing any chalk pastel because it made it hecka hard to put any more pen lines on after. I had to keep scribbling on a scrap piece to get the pen to work again. It kept going out on me. So pro tip, do not put your chalk pastel on if you're doing that. Don't put it on until you're done with all the pen lines. I learned the hard way. After the struggle of getting on all the rest of the lines, I then put some light gray chalk pastel all around and smudged it in like this. And I'm going over some of the lines with the pen. Also be careful not to smudge this too much unless you wanna rip through the page because a little bit of the paper got crumbly at points and then you have to wait for it to dry. Uh, before you go in with more pen or anything just so you don't rip the page completely and there we go a beautiful design with chalk pastel and pen and smudges from saliva it's so gross but uh it's it's dry and <laughs> oh just pretend that it's water from the faucet moving on to the next one i am doing the glue in a photo of yourself you dislike and deface Normally, I don't save a lot of photos of me that I dislike because they just get deleted from my phone and my camera or whatever I'm using. But I did find these two photo collages that are kind of funny, so I decided to put those in. I don't exactly dislike them. It's more like dis I like. I will not blame you if you click out of the video right now just for that lame attempt at 
a pun. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed because I never actually say that in real life, but I'm like, voiceover is my chance. So anyway, I cut the collages out and I glued them with a glue stick. And I've used this glue stick for so many of the gluing pages in my book. It is a lifesaver. Now to spruce up the pictures a little bit, I'm putting a sticker mustache on top left Sarah. And I am putting this face that reminds me of both a Lego and the comic book store guy from The Simpsons. I don't know why, but I'm putting that guy here. And a potato to give another pun that I look like a potato, a beautiful potato. And then I have a monster sitting on my shoulder and these really funny food stickers that have faces. You can see I put star stickers that I wish you saw. I don't know why I thought of that song randomly. I have not heard it in such a long time. Then at the bottom, I have this beautiful unicorn and a quote that I absolutely 100% did not come up with. I found it on Google. I've heard it so many times before, but I didn't know how it went exactly. Anyway, yeah, not mine, not taking credit for it. Next, we are moving on to the handprint page or fingerprint, whatever you want, but I'm choosing to do a handprint with some acrylic paint and peanut butter. Peanut butter jelly. But no, there's really no jelly in my house ever. I don't ever eat it. The acrylic paint dries really, really quickly, so I had to do this part separately from the peanut butter. I'm using this really mini spoon, as you can see, to glob that all over my hand and spread it around the palm and my thumb, and then I pressed it down like so. Now it is really taking shape. I'm gonna draw on a beak, a gobble, I think that's what they're called, a hat, and I put some feet and an eyeball. It's a turkey. Turkey, turkey. So cool. We should come up with a name for this guy. Leave a comment suggestion below. Whoever has the most thumbs up on their name within the next couple days, we will pin, or I, I will pin that to the top because I can only pin it. So vote on your favorite name. Now we're gonna write carelessly. I took the extremely literal approach to this page and I actually wrote carelessly with a marker. Carelessly wait for it now so yeah i was a smart aleck with this page but i do think it's pretty clever even though i wasn't the one who came up with this i've seen it on many a google search for wreck this journal but i like witty things so i wanted to include it even though it's not anything original i think it's still really funny and it's a nice addition to the book i'm just using my handy dandy crayola markers for this i did an outline and then little dots in the background carelessly now that's what i call me Music. How many nows are they on right now? Next, we're gonna scratch the page like a kitty cat. Except my cat's claws are freshly trimmed, so he can't do this page for me. I'm using a fork and I am just scratching away. That's really it. I don't know what else to explain. I thought it was hurt, so I gave it a band-aid. I'm gonna wrap something with this page. All I did was write something. Ooh, Sarah, you are so witty. I folded that something and then I ripped the page in the book and I wrapped it. I folded it up a few times. I then taped it with clear scotch tape and I put a little bow and bam, that is it. It is wrapped and it looks like a Christmas gift. It's beautiful. Finally, I am doing the four letter words page. This one, you know, not too interesting, but it's so easy to do and you can get really creative with the words that you put on. I find that rhyming words makes it so much easier to come up with them so you can get a lot out at once. Crank them out and write them down and we will end with hoax. Wait, what? Fool? What? 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 What do you mean? Joke? Fake? Scam? Haha. <laughs> If you guys haven't figured it out yet, April Fools! Ah! These don't feel very good. I went out and bought a second book for this video and I disguised it to look exactly like the other one. It looks almost exact. It doesn't look as beat up. And this one has a paper towel because peanut butter smells good. I hope you guys enjoyed this. It's not the greatest prank that ever has existed, but I thought it was kind of clever. Originally, I wanted to burn the book and set it on fire and completely destroy it, but I thought that would not be believable because you guys who know me well would realize that I definitely would never ever 
destroy all my artwork. I tried to make it semi-believable at the beginning, like the mandala is actually very pretty and I spent time on that. But then I put in little clues like my April Fools videos from the past, I did the pictures. If you guys have not seen my April Fools videos from the past few years, I didn't get to do one last year because I was on vacation, like I was on my way to Punta Cana at that time. So I didn't have time to make one last year, but I look forward to April 1st every single year. And normally I don't reveal that it's a prank. I kind of like will secretly hint at it, but I know there's a lot of new people watching and not everyone seems to realize every year that April Fools is a thing. I bet there's so many people who clicked on like my clay ball video or the best DIYs ever and thought that I was absolutely insane and never saw another video from me again and like had that first impression in their mind and if they ever see me out on the street they'll be like you're that crazy ditzy girl who doesn't know anything and it's like yep that's me go watch the rest of my channel please anyway I'm rambling a lot but hopefully some of you guys thought that this was kind of uh entertaining I guess and a semi good prank ish I just wanted to do something fun I already got started on next week's reckless journal video I got a spider graph kit and I started doing that page and I'm gonna work on a lot more so don't worry a new like serious video will be coming soon and I'm also doing a DIY with crayons and then maybe another DIY I'm gonna try 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 to get three videos up this coming week but no promises, I will at least get two. All my social media links are listed below, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook, and Crafty Amino. I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. Be sure to spread this video or some of my past April Fool's ones with people that you want to confuse. Even if it's not April Fool's Day, just send them the video and they'll be like, what the heck is this girl on? <laughs> like, what's wrong with her? Hope you cracked a smile at least. Have a great rest of the day. I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye, I don't know what I was doing with my head there, goodbye.